What is up, our metal brethren? Brandon Green and Ben Fo here, and it's time to talk about our favorite metal albums for the winter. Grab a cup of your blackest and hottest coffee and drop down in the comments and let us know some of your favorite albums for the winter time. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. If you like videos like these, we cover the best of the metal underground, bring you top lists of some of our favorite releases, old and new, and we also include a Spotify playlist for our picks. Link in the description if you wanna check that out. With that, let's get to our picks for the best metal albums of winter. First one on my list is Agaloc Ashes Against the Grain, released August 8th, 2006. Such an immensely important album to me for its wonderfully constructed songs, addictive melodies, and fantastic organic production. This album is the whole package for what I love in the wintertime. Chill atmosphere, a bit of mysticism, and a perfect narrative for snowfall. I mean, track two is called Falling Snow, so how much perfect can you get? To this day, this album constantly hits my rotation in the wintertime and influences so much of how I write my own music and construct melodies. The production on this record also sounds like gentle snowfall to me. The drums aren't overly blown out, and nothing is exhausting on the ears. It is just a perfect record. I love that we both picked Agalock because it's really the perfect album you picked i think what i would have picked too um when we had our first snowfall the a few weeks ago i put on ashes against the green and the entire world just seemed at peace especially when falling snow came on it was perfect so i'm gonna pick pale folklore as my second uh, winter album from agalock at one time this agalock album was my absolute favorite even topping the mantle for a few years i kind of go between different albums the sonic qualities on pale folklore are raw and it really feels like it was recorded in a cabin in the woods in the middle of winter agalock is a band that i need to hear when the winter takes hold and that's what i have to say and i'm sticking to it Pale Folklore is a perfect pick. I think Agalock honestly would win the competition of the best wintertime metal band, in my opinion. I don't know. What do you guys think? Throw that in the comments. What is the best wintertime metal band? My next pick is Bork Nagar, The Olden Domain, released August 18th, 1997. Bork Nagar is seeing some serious success these days, and for good reason, but The Olden Domain to this day still remains my favorite album of theirs. The Olden Domain is the second studio album by the Norwegian band and their first to feature English lyrics. It also marks the beginning of the band's transition to their trademark folk progressive black metal sound that's featured on all the other records that we know and love. I love the black metal vocals, the acoustic guitar passages, and the amazing pagan clean singing throughout this record. To this day, still a favorite of mine to revisit during the colder months. It reminds me of an introspective ascension to the highest peaks of a mountain to meet an elder Norse God. Such a fantastic album. When you sent me your list, I was like, well, that's exactly who I would have thought of. <laughs> so next for me is the Norwegian band, also featuring a couple members of Borknagar, or at least one member I know of. Arcturus. Arcturus is an unusual band to come out of the Norwegian black metal scene because they've really changed their sound over the years, but it's been really... Their album, The Sham Mirrors, is a progressive journey that sounds like they're taking their listener on an epic voyage through space and through the infiniteness of the universe. While the depths of space may not have winter as we know it, it's fucking cold out there, if you believe in science, which... You should. This was actually the album that got me into Garm, believe it or not. Way before I ever heard Borknagar or Head Control System or Ulver, I was listening to Arcturus. Arcturus is such a fantastic pick. This list is so much fun to me because I feel like it's one of the best themed lists that we come up with. And Arcturus belongs perfectly along winter bands.
The next one on my list is Immortal at the Heart of Winter. Big surprise. Yes, you can calm down. Immortal is on this list. February 22nd, 1999 is when this record came out. At the Heart of Winter is the fifth studio album by Norwegian black metal band Immortal, and it was released on Osmos Productions. It is the first Immortal album to not feature Demon Oz on guitar because he actually has suffered from acute tendonitis in his hands. Really sad. You got to pay attention to your hands. The album marks a shift in Immortal's musical sound, going more towards black metal and thrash metal fusion. But what honestly struck me the most about this album is the production. It sounds like a frozen wasteland overtaken by a fierce warlord looking to lay waste to everything in its path. Get ready for a nerd fact. Back when Warcraft 3 came out, I was playing a lot of Frozen Throne, which this album is the perfect metal soundtrack for. Come on. Easily my favorite Immortal album in their entire discography. When we're in the dog days of winter over here in New England, the cabin fever really kind of starts to set in, and I don't always want somebody screaming in my face with blast beats for 40 minutes. That's when I put on Ulver's brilliant classic, Kveltsanga. This album is majestic and is often hailed as a masterwork in Norwegian black metal. The ambiance of this album just feels like a bunch of folks sitting around in a desolate cabin somewhere in the middle of winter and just playing music to pass the time. Oliver can do no wrong from their black metal days to their electronica days. Their last album was amazing. They're kings in our book. That's why Kvetsanger gets a pick on my list. Ulver is such a great pick for the winter time. One of my favorite things about that band is their diversity in their discography. They go from like blistering raw black metal to weird electronica stuff, which their latest record is amazing, by the way, if you haven't heard it. The next one on my list is Catatonia Dance of December Souls, released December 4th, 1993. Catatonia has evolved a ton over their career. I love their latest heavy progressive take on the doom metal genre, but their early albums, most notably Dance of December Souls, shows fantastic musicianship in their roots of melodic death doom featuring almost all harsh vocals. Taking songwriting inspiration from death and black metal with their form of melodic doom added a deep sense of coldness to the record that makes me return time and time again. The guitar melodies are addictive, amazingly constructed, and the vocals are punishing and agonizing. There's also a ton of layers to the songs, and that's something that they continued to do throughout their whole discography. I love this record. It sounds like a cold, dreary tomb with no gods and no hope. Amazing music for the wintertime. Nagelfar is one of those bands that doesn't seem to get enough credit, and their debut album, Vitra, really speaks to me. This album is a cold, frosty hell with ice trolls. It's hyper-melodic, raw, but still has moments of sheer beauty and blasting power. Something about the production, the melodic nature, and the overall feel of the album helped me feel like winter is finally closing in. Nagelfar is awesome. They had an album come out this year that completely flew under my radar. I might have to check that one out for an upcoming Albums We Missed video. Have you heard that album? What do you think about it? Leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. That was our best playlist to listen to during the winter for the metal genre. Some folk metal in there too and everything in between got some doom got some black we got some folk definitely check out the playlist on spotify leave a comment what are your favorite albums to listen to during the winter thank you so much for watching go with the gods and for john <laughs> <laughs>